Women's contributions to the economy are at an all-time high. In fact, the number of working women has increased by more than 44% just in the last generation. So now that the workplace is transforming, what are the leadership skills that give women the edge? Well, the editor of Women Lead, Dr. Tracy Wyland dargenti joins us with more details this morning. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for having me. Well, I want to ask you this first, because it seems that women are key to the workplace, obviously. So what is fueling this transformation? Well, you know, women are half the workplace. Mm -hmm. uh, so it, we're not a minority anymore. We're, in fact, a majority in, in many industries. Number two is women are driving small business growth as well as uh, entrepreneurial efforts. In mm -hmm. fact, a woman starts a business every 60 seconds. Wow. Women have become leaders not only in the workplace but also as consumers. Uh, you know, women are making major purchasing decisions. Sure. Um, look at look at some of the other areas outside of work. Women are you know have exceeded in the Olympics. There are more women in the Olympics uh, this year than men. Mm -hmm. uh, the Congress has shifted. So you know, women have really made incredible. Uh, forefront, you know, opportunities in so many areas than before. Well, we're seeing great things with this generation right now, but how are women creating innovative career paths for the next generation? Well, that's a really good um, that's a really good question. So, number one, you have to realize that the world the world is rapidly changing. Mm -hmm. So, let me just frame it. Okay. You know, my generation was a classical world. The high school degree and the liberal arts degree was enough to get you most of the jobs that were pretty general. Mm -hmm. Now you're in a technology-based world. True. That's a very different world. Just think about it. Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook are only really on the map in the last 10 years. Mm -hmm. So the world has shifted quite a bit. In fact, 75% of the jobs by 2020 will have a technology component. Wow. So I think that you know the younger generation is going to have many more opportunities because there's many more jobs, but they're going to be different. And I think it's important that we guide them to understand that this is a technology world, and we may not understand it as well, but the opportunities have magnified. Absolutely, and there are so many opportunities. But I have to ask you this because we think a lot about the boundaries and the barriers so where do we actually stand now with the glass ceiling what can women actually do you know to equip themselves for breaking through the perceived or the actual barriers that still exist well that's a good question so when i think of glass ceiling i think of a ladder mm -hmm. i think of a ladder with rungs in one corporation that my parents had thought that you know their generation would stick in for life so then you see a lot of barriers right because right. the opportunities are very slim Today, women have pioneered really this labyrinth or lattice career approach. Mm. Why? Because you're living longer. You're living right. to 100. In Good fact, point. I saw a billboard this morning that said you're living, born today, live to 150. <laughs> so now your career span is 50, 60, 70 years. You don't have to stay in one company anymore. In fact, I would encourage you to make many hops Ooh. in your career path and own it. Right, own it and, and, and create your opportunities rather than obstacles. Give yourself more diversity and more opportunity. And so with these young professionals now you were talking about, you know, studying in college and all the opportunities, what advice would you give them if they're they're just getting started in the business world? What would you say to them so they can excel? Well, number one, they need to realize that there are options, mm -hmm. right? And there's many options, and that not none of them, a lot of them are not even defined yet. So, so they're going to have to do some legwork and research to, to understand. So if you're still in college, I would go out and talk to people about their careers mm -hmm. and volunteer, you know, in summers or breaks or whatever you can to really get exposed. Number two is understand the options that you like mm -hmm. and what is the skills, education, experience that's going to be required for you to pursue and, and get those jobs. Mm. I have so many students say, I want to work for Facebook. <laughs> but have they really understood that Facebook is a technology firm That's right. and that the journalism degree may or may not work there unless they have a technology aspect to it? Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, students today need to think about where they want to be, where they think they want to be, and then what does it take to really get those jobs in those kinds of firms that they're interested in. Thank you so much for joining us. Great information, of course, and I recommend to our viewers the book Women Lead. Definitely will help you out with some great pointers in the workforce. And in the meantime, you can always go to our website at casa.com for more details. We'll be right back.